Hello and welcome to another episode of Humans in Five. The coronavirus disease, also called COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2, has been all over our news screen since just about the start of 2020. It's impacting every element of our lives, including the very beginning of our lives. Researchers have been understandably concerned about the impacts of the virus on pregnant people and their babies. There's the issue of maternal care changing with access to hospitals and clinics, as well as worries about what the virus might be doing to the health of both parents and babies. Alexandre Vivanti and colleagues in France reported one case of a mother who was infected with the virus in the last trimester of her pregnancy and seemingly transmitted the virus to her fetus via her placenta. The placenta acts as the transport for oxygen and nutrients to the fetus, and while it's pretty nifty at filtering a lot of toxins and infections, in this case, it looks like COVID-19 was able to be transmitted to this fetus. This is just one case, and a few researchers looking at these results suggested that this may not mean that the virus can cross the placenta every time. For example, Marion Knight from Oxford University said that among the many thousands of babies born to mothers with the SARS-CoV-2 infection, a very few have been reported to also have a positive test, around 1-2%. to Roger P. Clergy and a research team from Wayne State University in the U.S. completed a study that may hint at why COVID-19 may not always get through the placental barrier and to the fetus during pregnancy. They found that the membranes of the placenta lack the specific component of DNA that's used to make the main receptor used by the virus to cause infection. But what about the other elements of pregnancy and birth? Does the coronavirus have any impact on them? Good question. There's some mixed results when it comes to how coronavirus impacts early life, particularly via breastfeeding. Christine Salvatore and her team from a group of New York hospitals looked into whether breastfeeding could happen safely during a pandemic. The study observed mothers and their babies at three New York City hospitals between March the 22nd and May 17th. Researchers reported no cases of viral transmission among the 120 babies born to COVID-positive mothers, even when both shared a room and the mothers breastfed. The babies remained in enclosed cribs six feet apart from their mothers, except while breastfeeding. Mothers were also required to wear masks when handling their child and followed proper hand and breast washing procedures. Two weeks after birth, the study found that none of the babies tested positive for the virus. None of the babies had COVID-19 symptoms either. None of these results mean that there is no reason to be careful about maternal and child health. It's completely possible that pregnant people with existing conditions may have a very different level of risk with COVID-19. It also doesn't mean that the concerns of pregnant people during a pandemic should be treated as less important. As always, being kind and informed is going to be the best bet in these, solu- in these situations. We hope this has you thinking about people being born into the world of COVID-19. And we'll see you next time on Humans in 5. And don't forget to subscribe.